Perry Mack here for Snowbirds and RV Travelers Magazine at the SEMA Show 2018. And what a find. Josh, I mean, <laughs> this is a this is a great looking camper. So tell me about where do, where do we start here? What have you done? Well, what we have when we done? So this is a 1972 C30 custom camper, originally manufactured from Mitchell Company. And so found it out in Colorado. Um, it was patinaed up, the perfect patina because patina is hot. <laughs> and I just decided, ah, you know, taking the interior out is what we do. And when I took it out, it pretty much fell apart. Yeah. So at that point, I flipped the switch and took it down to a uh, full custom body, all aluminum frame, same dimensional information as it was originally, yeah. but it's all brand new. And then with what we do as a company, we're all about the inside. But something like this and something like SEMA, you got to make a match on the outside. Yeah. So although we're tucked back in the corner, it's been the talk of the show. I've been very proud of it. Yeah. And we call it a rerun. So rerun has a factory 402 big block in it. Been completely gone through the blocks original, bigger pistons cam, everything's brand new. We did a, a sniper fuel injected. We did a March performance serpentine belt and headers, you know, wheel wood brake system. And of course the side pipes. <laughs> and that's a nice touch. I like it a lot. Uh, drive train, uh, drive shaft, any yeah. reinforcement back there? Nope. It's all factory original. All it's factory. got the factory four speed in it. It's got the factory eating rear end in it. It's all good to go. It's been completely gone through, refreshed, ready to roll. Yep. Uh, what about electronics? Electronics from the dash area. We did a day coded digital. It's updated, but kind of still old school. You know, I didn't want to go yeah. too far over the edge. I want to maintain the, the originality of it. Yeah. But from all electrical system, it's all 100% new. We did a painless wiring system in it. Oh, yeah. And then we got an aux battery for the camper part. We got a main battery for the start engine. And it's got a big boom boom in it. I love sound systems, <laughs> but it's got the old factory looking head unit in it, but right. it's state of the art. Yeah, it's nice. Hey, well, let's turn around and uh, let's go to the back and see what we've got back there. Sounds fantastic. All right. All right. So this is the ass end, Josh. And I don't mean that in a bad way because it looks really good. <laughs> So one of the cool things with the Mitchell camper body was the body lines. I really like the body lines. And although we rebuilt it, we kept it all original looks. So the angles that are on there, the functionality of it, took those lines down to the bottom of it, put the three taillights in it, which are LEDs. Oh, and yeah. then again, just followed the body lines. I wanted it to be as factory original as I could. Yeah. Now, did it actually have these sharp lines? It did. It? That's the it did. original line. Yep, it did. Because it makes, it, it looks modern. That's right. I know, and we got the modern windows as well. Underneath, chassis? Uh... Yep. Underneath, it's all factory original still. It's meant to be used, and it's got the 4KW underneath. We've got a generator on board. we got HVAC on board. we got plumbing on board. She is ready to use. Nice. Well, let's take a look inside. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, I'm going to say right off the bat, Josh, <laughs> this is comfy, it is spacious, and it's... It's retro, but it's modern at the same time. That was that, that was the whole idea behind it. You know, I'm I'm very old school. I love old school stuff. However, this one I wanted to really blend the two uh, genres and really bring it to a different level. And it really all started with the skylights. Yeah. So believe it or not, those skylights are a traditional RV shower skylight, usually in the corner of an RV. Right. And what I like the shape of that, and I thought, what if I put those back to back? So as soon as I put those back to back, it kind of sparked everything around the interior. So the interior layout is very similar to what it was originally. Really? However, all the angles that you see all came from that single skylight. You have the overhead cabinets, you have the dinette seat. This is very unique. It's a two person dinette seat, you know, one person and trying to be efficient with a space, you know, with something like this. And then the material I've had on my desk for almost two years. And it's amazing to find this vehicle, have it green, and then have this material, and then it just kind of all came together in my crazy head. So it's not just a, an RV queen. This is a functional yep. RV. We've huh. got like holding tanks, what size of holding tanks? 25 gallon holding tanks, 25 fresh, 28 black. Right. And then it has a wet bath, wet bath basically, you oh, know, okay. dual purpose, you know, fishing of the space. Yeah. Uh, microwave, I don't have any cooktop in it. You know, that's what the outdoors are for. Yeah. You know, but it does have a giant sink. I've had so many ladies say, man, look at the size of that sink. It's bigger than one of my house. You know, and that's important. You know, yeah. I've been in this industry a long time. I know what works. There's a pull-out pantry behind the fridge there. Um, it's got a bigger fridge in it. It's just a good use of space. Yeah. 
And I mean the cabinetry, like it, it looks brand new. Is that redesigned? 100% brand new. So my shop, I got great craftsmen, I got great support. Yeah. Build what you see here. Yeah, yeah, because the interior walls are, are yep. vinyl. Yeah, and yep. they look. Yeah, they're padded. <laughs> they're padded. We always pad our walls. It just has a nice finished look to yeah, it. It does. And then the uniqueness of the white overlay panels. That kind of makes that blend of the retro to the new school. And it just was a ton of fun to bring yeah. this whole thing together. Windows? Yep. Windows for a company called All Right Manufacturing. All I did is spec the size. I didn't want that big gaudy aluminum trim around. I wanted to be very clean looking. Uh, flooring, it looks like bamboo, is it? It is. It's called LVT, but oh. it it's, looks like bamboo. Yeah. And I wanted to match the countertop, which, which is physically bamboo. Bamboo that's been layered up in two different directions. So if you look at the edge detail, you can see how the grain goes one direction, then it's flipped the other. And it's just it just adds that nice touch i see led lighting in mm -hmm. the interior as well along absolutely the roof. nice touch yep faucets uh the knobs are i know <laughs> it's just cool you know I, yeah. I just searching around trying to find that balance between old school and new school and i found that and I'm like that's it and of course you have a tv you can pull away from the wall right. and don't forget the the record player so that record player is not just for show it's 100 percent record on there yeah, there's one on it now <laughs> yep that's why she's spinning but you know it's not for going down the road no. but what 72 camper wouldn't have a record player in it anything a little <clears> bit more <throat> higher tech like usb ports for people oh yeah all the outlets around are all usb so it's got an inverter system auxiliary battery system right. shoreline on the side you know it's, literally you can take this tomorrow go camping in it be like anything else out there but you might stand out a little bit and you probably have a line <laughs> out the door <laughs> that i can see <laughs> Uh, 30 amp or 50 amp power? 30 amp. 30 yep. amp power mm -hmm. can go anywhere. Yep. Uh, solar panels? Nope, no solar panels. So, kind of me, you know, being a little bit more old school and, of course, a cost factor. You know, it's starting to come down. It's getting there. Yeah. But for us as a company, you know, I had enough money into it as it was, but it certainly can have solar panels. It's a yeah. flat roof up there. Speaking of company and mm -hmm. dollars, mm -hmm. now, so is this something like, I, can I buy this one or can I order one like it or do my own custom? How does that work? Any of those options are available. Oh, this yeah. absolutely, I'll sell anything I got. I know a good company that can build another one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but for us as a company, I'll trick out anything. It makes no difference to me. All right, let's let's uh, let's turn around and let's look at the front inside the kitchen. Sounds great. This is actually really spacious up here. This is the original design? Original design. So it is four inches shy of a queen size mattress. So I had to shave it just a little bit to get up there, but that was the whole purpose of it. Yeah. To make sure you can use traditional, uh, you know, queen size material. And the, this luggage, I found this at an <laughs> antique mall. And it's kind of like the skies opened up, like, whoa, you know, <laughs> right color, brand new, 30 bucks. And it just really fits everything we've tried to do. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it comes, it comes with the camper? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not full, but yeah. <laughs> and then we got the pass through. This is the original pass through to the cab area. Oh, okay. So, you know, if you need to get through at any time, you can do it. And it's not custom. It's it's what it was originally. Wow. So, I mean, it's going to require a little bit of flexibility to get yeah, in maybe, there. Yeah, maybe someone like you and not like me. <laughs> um, you know what I did notice is um, no fantastic fan or venting in the yep. ceiling. There's one in the restroom here. Yeah. But again, kind of going back to the looks things, yeah. I didn't want to dirty up the inside too much. Yeah. Could have had one, yes, but I just didn't want that lines messed up. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say, that looks absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Josh, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, I can't wait to see the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. We'll have a few links down below and a little bit of extra information for you. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe.